What happens when an org ends up acquiring a bunch of different applications? Think CRMs, marketing platforms, warehouses, ERPs, or other types of business systems. Well, you're bound to struggle with data duplication, difficulty in managing hierarchies, control for governance, workflow challenges across systems, and ultimately trying to build trust around dashboards and BI reporting or leveraging your AI in a proper way. When those kind of problems occur, or anything else around integration and data management, companies look to Syncry to solve those kinds of issues. When working with Syncry, the first thing you need to do is connect those applications. To do so, all you do is drag something out of the library, go through an authentication flow respective to that individual system, and you're good to go. More than just integrations, Syncry gives you a bi-directional connection as part of our hub and spoke approach to read and write data between everything that you've connected. That means you can connect Salesforce to everything else that you have in your domain as you set it up on the Syncry layer. Once you've connected those applications, you're gonna get a data dictionary automatically. That's both a model for Syncry and every application that you work with to see the different objects, metadata, and fields that belong to your specific deployment of the tool. This does respect any authority that you've given to that system. So any rules or uh, access that you've limited in the end tool will be respected by the Syncry layer. From there, you can turn the proper data pipelines and build your control plane on the Syncry Sync Studio. From here, you can see the different relationships and entities as they exist in your Syncry layer, as well as the data pipelines and what you're solving for within each individual entity. Inside of a pipeline, you have two major pieces. The workflow that shows how you're moving from systems A on the left to systems B on the right, and the mapping of that data on the Syncry layer. Different than other applications, Syncry's domain allows you to take multiple systems under the same layer, tie them together against the Syncry domain, and decide if the data is going to be source, destination, or bidirectional. When you're mapping systems, it's as straightforward as using the manual mapping feature to pick the system, or using AI to support the auto mapping feature that exists inside of the Syncry domain. In a matter of seconds, you can map a net new system into your layer, pick and choose and edit as needed inside of your domain and save those mappings onto your master model. Once you've mapped your systems, you can build those pipelines, leveraging a whole sweep of different functions and actions built into the library to get the most of how you're transforming that data. You also have the ability to use our patented multi-directional sync engine to decide what constitutes a duplicate, how you build your survivorship rules, and how do you start to control for governance when bringing all this data together. Additionally, you're gonna have the ability to control for more granular field level operations. Think things like data enrichment, routing, notification alerting, or AI inside of your pipeline workflows. So you can do something like a data enrichment, or you can connect something such as building a customer health score along this model as well, that goes down different paths depending on the processes you've authored inside of Syncry. From there, you have your full domain for the Syncry layer where you can not only control for versioning, tracking data quality inside of your Syncry instance, leveraging the auto-generate documentation using Sync AI, or of course, managing and building your pipeline in a way that's easy to track and understand as you bring together multiple systems. Once you've set this piece up, what you're gonna get is access to the data inside Data Studio flowing through your Syncry pipelines. You can see the ID resolution on the data as it's flowing through your Syncry layer here, all the individual data points on your model that you've pressed in. You can also query, export, and edit this layer to make sure that your data is in tops or healthy condition. Most importantly, you're also gonna have access to lineage so you can see how this data has changed over time and start to build trust in the models that you're building on the Syncry domain. Keep in mind all the data in the Syncry is respect and governed by ABAC and RBAC features to really control who has access to what within the Syncry platform. The hope is that at this point, you've built high quality data that you can then start to build trust around reporting, leveraging Insight Studio within Syncry to do the reporting natively on Syncree's domain and leveraging those pieces directly in that layer to build said dashboards that are going to allow you to function as a reverse ETL as well, automating that process and minimizing the amount of time spent need to stare at these dashboards. That's right, you can have those processes run agentically and automatically back to your source applications doing things like notifications, changing or updating that data, or directly writing back into the tools of choice. Not only for reporting though, you're also gonna have access to Syncree's MCP server so you can use tools like Claude to query and analyze your data, providing you custom automatic dashboards, such as this one I've produced on churn risk from the data set I'm sharing with you guys. But you can also use this to build things like sending email reports, notifying you more about the accounts and information at hand, and also create those tickets directly on the sync relayer. So not only is this analytics based, but you can also automate and drive action based off what you're doing inside of Syncree MCP. Beyond all of this, 
What I hope you're gathering is that Synchro is a strong closed loop situation and process for building uh, integration and data mastery on a single unified platform. For more information on how Synchro can work for you and what it can do with the data inside of your tech stack, reach out to the Synchro team and we'd be happy to help out. Thank you so much and have a great day.